Hello, Amiibos. This is Jason of Game and Shock. So, welcome to my 20th haul video. I know, my 20th haul video. It's been a little while since I've done one. Since I've done one of these, I think the last time I did one of them, one of these haul videos was in June of last. Uh, no, no. Why last year? I mean this year. So over the top, over the past two months, I've got some games with me because it's a haul video, and um, Jason of Game and Shocks. The game is in the title, and yeah. So now, let's start. So I got a bunch of games with me because I got. Stuff from Bull Moose, stuff from Core Gaming, uh, some, and so, and some flea market stuff because I went to the flea market a few days ago. But first, I got some other stuff. I got some papers with me. So the first one I have is stuff from GameStop. So I have uh, this weekly ad, which is for August first through uh, through seventh, and on the front it's Mad Nineteen. I don't care. I don't know, maybe I'm going a bit too hard on Madden. Maybe eventually I'll try Madden game, but I, I'm not completely sure. So we got some other games in here. If the camera could focus, come on. There we go. Lego The Incredibles, The Crew 2, Injustice 2, and some sports games that I don't care about. And then in here is Destiny 2 Forsaken, which I think is just an expansion for Destiny 2. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker for the Switch, Crash Insane Trilogy for the Switch. No Man's Sky <laughs> for the Xbox One. Uh, Jurassic World Evolution. It's evolution, yeah, it's Evolution. And We Happy Few down here. And then Black Ops Three Beta, which I haven't tried out, and I don't know if I will because I current right now I currently don't own I have PlayStation Network Gold. I think it's what it's called. After oh, PlayStation Plus. My bad. And Black Ops Four stuff. Dead Cells for the Switch. Um. NBA 2K19 over here, and Resident Evil 2 remake. I'm, I'm really excited for that. It's, I'm actually I'm not the most excited for it because I'm not really that big. That I'm not familiar with Resident Evil all that much. And then, Hello Neighbor. But I know um, uh, one of my um, one of my fellow YouTubers and friends of reality, Aaron Fazbear, is definitely excited for this game. Oh, you should go check out Aaron Fazbear if you haven't. He does uh, he does um. It's uh, music stuff. I mean, I'm I'm not because I'm not that good of a singer. And so then we got Pokemon stuff, and then we got WarioWare Gold, and hope we get a Wario game for the WarioWare game for the Switch. And then Sonic Mania Plus down here, which I want to get. And then of course Smash Bros Ultimate. That's how I always say Smash Bros Ultimate because it's, I don't know. And then we got Insomniac Spider-Man up here. And Pre-order the deluxe edition of Lego DC Super Villains and get the Steelbook, which I'm considering pre-ordering that because that Steelbook looks really nice. And then World of Warcraft Battles of Azeroth, which I'm not a, a big fan of. I've never played World of Warcraft, so I don't want to know what it's like. It being in that community. Alright, and then I got my uh, issue of Game Informer, which is for Destiny 2 Forsaken. And in this is basically everything, like stuff about E3. And to be honest, uh, let's see. Who do I think was the winner of E3? And also, look at the back page. That looks beautiful. I've always loved like space backgrounds like this. But I think the winner of E3 was. Um, I know it's kind of old since it's August now, but I think the winner of E3 was Microsoft. They had some legitimately really good stuff in there, in that press conference. I mean, a lot of the stuff was also going to be for the PS4, but. Hey, I might actually get an Xbox One because of how good Microsoft's press conference was this year. Alright, and now we'll move on to the game. So, so this this um, haul video is going to consist mostly of PlayStation stuff. I, I actually got a game for every PlayStation system that I own. I have, all, I have the PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and 4. I don't have the PSP or the PS Vita for reasons. But yeah, so first we're going to start off with the two PlayStation 4 games that I got. I got some other games. I got some original Xbox games and some Nintendo stuff. But PlayStation is going to be the big boy for today. So first one I got, this first PlayStation 4 game I got is from uh, Bull Moose. This is the only game that I got from Bull Moose, which is weird that it's a PlayStation 4 game. But anyways, it's Injustice, Gods Among Us, Ultimate Edition. <laughs> of course you got to have Ultimate but yeah, I haven't really sunk that much time into um, Injustice Gods Among Us. I just put it in my PS4 just to try it out, and I need to, I really need to get used to it because I'm real because I really like Street Fighter V and Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. This is like a completely different fighting style from those games. But 
I'm playing, but I'm playing with DC characters: Batman, Superman, Batgirl, Martian Manhunter, Lobo. I don't know who these two are. The Batgirl, and yeah, and it's Nether Realm, so you're probably expecting a good fighting game from these guys. Even though I've never played Mortal Kombat X, and Spine, Yellow Spine, which will go great with my other games since I have more color, and the Bat. What if our greatest heroes became our greatest threat? Hmm, that's a good question, game. What if our greatest heroes became our greatest threats? Oh, I think I have the answer. We'd all be dead. But, and then we got some screenshots of the game, of course, and some of the alternate costumes for, I think, for every character in the game. Six new characters, some Star Lab missions, which I have yet to try, and yeah, I really need to, I really need to get into this game. And, um, but it doesn't say anything else for the description. And I want to two players, 21 gigabytes minimum, uh, two to eight network players, HD video output, which I don't care about, online play optional, offline play enabled, DualShock 4, of course, and remote play compatible. And the game is rated T for due to blood, language, suggestive themes, use of tobacco, and violence. I mean, that's kind of expected for a fighting game, and I think this game was also a launch game for the PlayStation 4. Does it say down here? Um, come on, camera, focus. Uh, oh, yeah, 2013. Right, and then inside, here's the disc with uh, Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn, I think, on the left, and Flash. Uh, camera, focus. There we go. I don't know why the camera always has issues focusing. And then here's the manual, which has absolutely nothing in it. Thanks, Warner Brothers. Thanks for giving me useful manuals that aren't in the Lego games. All right, and then the other PlayStation 4 game I got from... Uh, this one I got from GameStop. And, yeah, I always wanted to try it out, but now I have it. It's Gravity Rush 2. Now, like I said, since I don't have a PlayStation Vita, I don't own the first Gravity Rush. And getting Gravity Rush remastered is expensive as crap. So, I just have Gravity Rush 2 for a, for a while, and I'm really liking this game so far. All the, the gravity mechanics, it's really fun. And just being cat and going around with, with your cat. <laughs> Cute. Cute pun. Um, and just doing stuff. It's a really unique platformer. Right, and then spine with uh, buildings in the background. And the back. Manipulate gravity and soar the skies in an open world. Thrust into a land and still searching for clues behind the mystery of her origin. Cat must master three unique gravity attack styles as she takes on a new danger that emerges to threaten the fabric of the universe itself. So yeah, not much for a description, but hey, it at least gets you sold for the game, because like I said, I haven't played the original, and I don't know about getting the remastered since it's so expensive. So then this cat up here, and then, and then down here, one player, 17 gigabytes minimum, remote play, and remote play compatible, and then Sony and Sony Japan Studio, and the game is rated T again, due to blood, fantasy violence, mild suggestive themes, partial nudity, and use of alcohol. Okay, that I don't get for some reason, because I'm not that far into the game, and... I don't know. So, and inside, here's the disc, with Cat again. And then over here is this little pamphlet for uh, Raven's Choice, which is like a DLC expansion to Gravity Rush for Raven. So, Because the main story is about Cat, and then this one's for Raven, obviously. And then on the back is Gravity Rush Remastered, which I think you can only get that game on Amazon. and For some reason. And then taking out the disc... You can see the controls with Cat and I think Raven over there. But yeah, it's a but you should really try this game out. It's not that expensive. It's but it's a really unique platformer. Platformer. It, it, it is a platformer. All right, now moving on to the first batch of games that I got from Core Gaming, which I did in a four for ten deal. So I got a PlayStation One game, a PlayStation Three game, and two original Xbox games, which are the only Xbox related things. In this haul video, so the first, so I'll do the PlayStation One game first, and it's Two Meter Two. Now I've now I've played a little bit of this game, and yeah, it's fun so far. The it hasn't really aged well because the controls really are crap. I mean, because they're tank controls. Because the game didn't the, doesn't support the analog sticks, that's why it's like that. And I want to get through some, get to some of the other Tomb Raider games. Uh, shout out, shout out to my um. To my to fellow YouTuber uh, Henry Gonzalez because because I think he should do a let's play on this game to be honest. Maybe, hey, try it out. 
Come on, Henry. Maybe, we, maybe you, me and you can both play the game. And yeah, so as you can see, I got the greatest hits version, and it's and I'm not sure if it actually includes the demos of Tomb Raider 3, Gex 3, or Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver, because I think Henry also has a copy of this game, and I'm not I'm not sure if it's the greatest hits copy or Black Label, but anyway, so you got Lara Croft with the gun, and spine, and the back, and it says nothing. Thanks, Idos, and thanks, Core. Huh, how ironic that I got that I got this from Core Gaming. Ha! Huh. I mean, yeah. So you got you got some screenshots of Lara Croft in different costumes. It's doing all sorts of stuff. And then inside, of course, you got here's the disc with Lara Croft smiling with her gun. And then here's the other side of the manual with Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver, Tomb Raider 3, and Gex 3, which I don't have any of those games. But yeah. I really want to play some more of the game. It's just the controls really aren't that are really cumbersome to use. I'm not sure if Henry uh, Henry Gonzalez agrees with me, but anyways, I'll put a link down in the description of Henry Gonzalez's channel. He does um, let's plays and haul videos, sort of like me, and collection videos. All right, and then moving on to the first PlayStation 3 game that I got, and it's Killzone 2. Now again, I've never played a a kill zone game. I've never played the first game and I never played the third game or Shadowfall or the PS Vita one or the PSP one, but yeah, Kill Zone 2. So far from what I've played it just seems like a pretty typical first person shooter, but then again, it's just I think I play like about five minutes of it and that's it. Five out of five stars, so maybe it does get better as it goes along. And then you got this guy, cause like mm, Kill Zone And then it's spine with a like gray spine and the back. Welcome to Kelgen, or Helgan, or Helgen. I don't know how you say that. And then, of course, you got screenshots over here, and that's it. And then inside, here's the disc with, I have no idea what that is on the disc. And then here's the Killzone 2 guide. I'm not going to call it a manual. And then inside is this, uh, well, in the back is this PlayStation Network stuff, of course. And then in here is uh, Infamous. Which I have the first Infamous, it's just I have yet to play it for some reason. Because I've been playing some of, my, some of the other games I have on the PS3, like Sonic Unleashed. And then over here is a PSP advertisement, and if you actually think about it, there's some pretty good games up there. Like Daxter, Patapon, Hot Shots Golf, Open T2, Wipeout Pulse, um, and uh, Ratchet, and, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters, and Secret Agent Clank. All pretty good games in there. I mean, maybe some, maybe some of those sports games are pretty good. I don't know. And then taking out the disc and the manual, you can see a battlefield going on. Wait, a war? Because of course it's called Kill Zone. You got to have a Kill Zone somewhere. But I want to, I want to eventually play some more of the games. Uh, let's see where, where exactly like, gameplay wise it goes. Because it just seems like a typical first person shooter. Alright, and then moving on to the two original Xbox games that I got. So, let's see. First one that I have is... Medal of Honor, European Assault. I mean, just, the, just the, this, European Assault got me intrigued because, I don't know. European Assault, you're gonna assault in Europe in World War II with dog tags. Oh, yeah! That's boss. That's boss. That doesn't even make sense. But yeah, you got some soldiers over here, and then a map of stuff. And then spine, and there's a boring black spine in the back. A time for heroes, a time for honor. You don't play, you volunteer. Whoa. But that was, 70, that was like 70 years ago, so I'm not going in that war. And it's just some screenshots of the game, of course. And you got EA stupid logo over there, because they pretty much killed their own franchise. And I don't even know where I'm going with this. And inside, here's the disc with some soldiers on it. And then here's the manual, which is the same as the cover. And then on the back is EA cheat codes, like always. Usually they always put EA cheat codes on, like, original Xbox games. But I've never tried them out because I don't know if the old EA games website is still up. But I don't know if I want to try because EA will want to steal my money. And then... And then the other original Xbox game that I have, and the last one that I have, is Max Payne. Alright, we're going on to another, um, R Star franchise. Rockstar! I mean, <laughs> Rockstar. Oh, God, he's getting angry. Whoa, crap. So, yeah, Max Payne. 
You got a picture of Max Payne on the wall because you got a man with nothing to lose. Max Payne. And of course, since it's our star. Oh, I think he's gone. Rockstar! Fine, Rockstar. Alright, and then Spine in the back. And it says nothing. Good job, Remedy and. I think he's gone. Uh, our star. And yeah, and then inside, it's Rockstar! Of course, he never leaves for some reason, even though I like, like calling it our star. Rockstar! See, he doesn't stop. And then inside, here's the disc with Max Payne on it, of course. And then here's the manual, which I like because it's because I like the manual, how it's like a, a folder of some kind with Max Payne's um, name on it. And then it's a pretty thick manual. And then on the back is the other side of the folder with a coffee stain. I always like uh, manuals that do that, like make make it look like something, regardless of what it is. It's, I like I lo I've always liked that. All right, next is movie is the games that I got from the flea market. I got four PlayStation Three games and a PlayStation One game. So the the PlayStation Three games that I got are basically the from the guys that I bought them from. Uh, these were in like a four for ten, similar to Core Gaming. So the first one that I have is. Resistance, Fall of Man. So basically, this game is base. Basically, 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 eh, it's basically, it's basically Insomniac's version of Call of Duty or some kind of Gears of War. No, probably Gears of War. Because look at it. Really, it's just Insomniac that intrigued me about this series. Because Insomniac is one of my favorite developers, and since Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man game is just around the corner. I'd say, hey, another Insomniac game, why not? So I got a four-eyed skull with a helmet. And a just and a really dark background. And spine and the back. And it says nothing. Good job, Insomniac. Thanks. I thought I was a huge supporter of your work. Maybe not. I don't know. Then inside, here's the disc with what looks like a sonar path of some kind. And then here's the manual with uh, United States Army Rangers 1st Dat Regiment, Sergeant Nathan Hale. Nathan Drake? 50s Nathan Drake? It says on the back that it takes place in the 50s. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm digging too deep into this. And then here's PlayStation Underground stuff, which I didn't even know PlayStation Underground made it to the PS3. And taking out the disc and the manual, you can see some pictures of the main villains of the game, the Chimera. And and again, like like with some of the other games that you've been seeing, the manual is like one of those sheets. Of the, I, I don't know what they're actually called. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I can't remember for some stupid reason. But yeah. Well, I want to play some more of that game as well because Insomniac. Alright, the next is a game that's so much different from Resistance. And it's God of War 3. Oh yeah, just the first boss in this game. It's insane. It's epic. And it's just the first boss. And I've never played a God of War game before. So, got Kratos with his eyes like, I'm gonna kill you! Because I think he always screams. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> and Spine, Grace... Gray spine and the back. In the end, there will only be chaos. I don't even know why I'm yelling at me. It's because I'm trying to be like Kratos. But that's never going to happen. And then we got some screenshots up here because it's Kratos and he is basically a madman. Just never mess with chaos. Ne chaos. Never mess with Kratos. Ever. And then inside, here's the disc with Kratos on it again. And then. There's the manual with a stylized God of War 3 thing in stone. And then taking out the disc and the manual, you can see Kratos and a, another God of War 3 logo. But yeah, I think this is probably one of the games I've been playing, that I want to play more of, especially to the end, because it's such an epic game. And the, and the reason why I'm going so fast with these games is because I want to keep this video at least under 30 minutes, hopefully. 
All right, the next is a game, another game that's drastically different from God of War 3. Assassin's Creed. Oh yeah, I'm going in, going back to the first Assassin's Creed. Because I have some of the other ones. I have Origins and I've played a bit of Black Flag. But, and those games are awesome, but... Assassin's Creed 1. Going to a simpler time. Well, going back to... When did this game come out? Uh, if I can find the release... To, oh, right here. Uh, if the camera could focus. There we go. 2007. But, and you got your Assassin. About to go in... The Crusades, I think, was... With, which I think is the timeline, the time for this game. At least for your assassin character, which I don't know his name. And then Spine, uh, Blue Spine, and the back. Master of the Art of the Kill. That's a that's a cool tag on. Master of the Art of the Kill. It sounds so epic. And of course you got screenshots of the game and you got him mastering the art of the kill. Because of course, it's Assassin's Creed. You gotta go killing people. And, yeah doing it through history and then inside is the disc with your assassin on it again and there's the manual which is the exact same as the cover and then on the back of the manual is haze i've never heard of that game and then on the and then here's the strategy guy and art book preview which is weird i don't even know if this came in here before but well when the game came out but i wouldn't know yeah and then the last game is... Well, let me just show you. The last game of the PS3 games that I have in from the flea... No, not from the flea market. It's Final Fantasy XIII. Now, before you leave this video, hear me out. I have never played a Final... No, actually, I have... I've played a very tiny bit of Final Fantasy III on the DS. And that, that was fun from what little I've played... I just started Final Fantasy 13 and so far it it's good so far. Like it looks beautiful. <laughs> we we'll get out get that out of the way. I know I know what I know you're going to say. Ugh, I hate Final Fantasy 13. It's so boring. Mm. All right, let me just get these guys out of here and let's actually talk about Final Fantasy 13. I don't know what to say cuz this is the most divisive game in the series. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. You got lightning on the front, and then that's it. And then spine, and the back. The battle within begins. Hey, that rhymes! Yeah, I think it. Yeah, it does rhyme. And then you got the main characters right here, because of course it's Final Fantasy. You gotta be in an epic world that's not even really fantasy, if you really think about it. And yeah, it's Final Fantasy 13. I don't know. I haven't played that much of the game. I didn't go. No, actually, I've only played a half hour of the game. So and here's the disc with lightning on it again, and then here's the manual, which is actually a pretty thick manual. It's like 40 pages. Nothing on the back. Nah. And then Square Enix members, which I'm not sure if that's still around now, because this game came out in um, 2010. I think that's what this is. Yeah, 2010. But I want to play some more Final Fantasy 13. I know a lot of people are going to say, just play, just play a different Final Fantasy game. Ugh. I want to at least give, give the game a chance. Please. All right, and then moving on to the second PlayStation 1 game that I got. And it's Crash Bandicoot 3. Warped! Is that how Cortex did it? I don't know. But yeah, I got Crash Bandicoot 3 for $12 right here. Pretty good deal. Pretty good, because I think this game usually runs for like $20, $20, $25. I mean, I don't know, but hey, and, uh, hey, Naughty Dog. And yeah, Crash Bandicoot 3. I, the main reason why I wanted this game is because I wanted to see how different it was from the uh, Insane Trilogy version, which I have up here. Here's the Insane Trilogy, and Insane Trilogy is really fun. I've, that's a, such a great trilogy of games. But Crash 3, it's... So far, it, seem, it seems like a very tiny bit different. I've only played the first level so far, and I'm liking it. And it also has a demo of Spyro, of Spyro 1 on it. And yeah, I don't even know where I'm going with that. You got Crash on a motorcycle, and then you got Coco on a tiger. And a dinosaur right there. I don't know what that dinosaur is doing there. Maybe he's getting warped. And uh, I don't want to have diarrhea like Cortex did. And it's fine. Which is weird how it just says Crash Bandicoot warped. It doesn't say Crash 3 at all. And the back. Oh yeah, he's back and he's ready. It's a whole new, it's a whole new time traveling adventure. Oh, I can't speak. 
I don't know why. And of course, I like how, I like how the screenshots are actually um, the war bubbles in the game. And yeah, and then inside is the disc uh, with Coco and Crash on it, with nothing else. And then is Spyro, which in here is the um, it says there's a code for Spyro, which is um, the Konami code. It's up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, square. And you can access the Spyro demo. And then taking out the disc for um, Crash 3, you can see some of the timelines you can see in the game. Well, points in history. Yeah, it's a really fun game. Uh, I, won't, I don't know if I can say it's better than the Insane Trilogy version, but hey, I've only played the first level. Alright, and then the last pile of games is the second pile that I got from Core Gaming. I got a GameCube game, a PlayStation 2 game, a Wii game, and a PlayStation 1 game. My last PlayStation 1 game. So I'll start with the GameCube game first, and it's Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Now, what is secret about this game? <laughs> it's the fact that I've never watched a Harry Potter movie. Uh, yeah. Is that <laughs> yeah, I've never watched a Harry Potter movie. Now, don't get me wrong. I I do have Source for Stone on Blu-ray. It's just I've never actually sat down and watched it. But, hey, game's five bucks. And looks like a really fun game. Because I've heard really good, game, really good things about the Harry Potter games. And this one looked like fun. And plus, you got if I ever get a Game Boy Advance again, I could extend my adventure with Game Boy Advance connectivity stuff. And spine. And the back. Dare to return to Hogwarts. And I don't know how, oh, how the story goes in Chamber of Secrets because, again, I've never watched Chamber of Secrets or any of the other Harry Potter movies. And, and inside is the disc, blue disc, which I don't know if that fits Chamber of Secrets at all. And then here's the manual, which is the same as the cover. And on the back is, of course, EA Cheat Codes. And on the back of the manual is Tide the Tasmanian Tiger, which is a platforming series. And, yeah. I have nothing else to say since I haven't played the game at all. And then the PlayStation 2 game that I got is Jack 2. <laughs> Another sequel, because Chamber of Secrets is also a sequel. But Jack 2, just looking at the cover, just tells you like, Oh crap, this game looks so much different from the original Jack and Daxter. And I'm really loving the first Jack and Daxter. Because since it's Naughty Dog, you expect like really good from these guys. And I'm probably not, and I'm probably gonna get it with Jack 2, since I really like the first game. Just different setting, I think. And spine, and the back. Something big is about to unfold. And you got some screenshots of the game, of course. I don't know why I keep saying that. And then you got Jack with Daxter and a gun. Is that a gun? Yeah, it's a gun. And then other character, some of the other characters probably in the game. And yeah, and then inside. Here's the disc with Jack and Evil Jack. I don't know. I haven't played Jack 2 yet. So I also don't have a PlayStation 2 down here. And then there's the manual with a very helpful tip right here. There is a very useful map of Haven City. Uh, focus. There we go. On the flip side of the game cover. And that, that's actually true. There is, an, um, there is a map on the other side. I think Daxter on the PSP also did that. Correct me if I'm wrong since I don't have a PSP and... I don't know. I don't even know how I'd know that. And yeah. Really excited to play Jack 2. I'm not sure if the greatest hits version of the game has um, that that flip, side, that flip uh, map cover. Alright, and then the Wii game that I got is Sonic and the Secret Rings. Now, just like Final Fantasy 13, I've heard that this is one of the worst Sonic games. Now, I'm not going to judge it <laughs> yet since I haven't played it yet. So I'm not going to um, say anything about it. <laughs> but since I like Sonic and the Black Knight, that's one of the reasons why I like Sonic and the... S that's they're one of the reasons why I wanted to get Sonic and the Secret Rings. Because see if this the hatred towards this game is warranted or not. And I don't know since I haven't played the game. But you got Sonic with a ring and fire coming out of his chest. And then Spine and the back. The Land of Mystery meets the Legend of Speed. I mean... The back description seems pretty cool. I'm gonna be honest. I'm being completely honest with that. But I don't know. I wanna try the game. I wanna judge it fairly in my own opinion. And then inside, here's the disc 
orange disc with a bunch of chains on it. And then here's the manual with secret tips inside. Thank you, Sega. Thank you for giving me tips. And then here's the back with Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz, which I still have yet to get. Because I really like Super Monkey Ball 1 in the GameCube. And I don't know. Maybe it's the same with Sonic and the Super Brings. Again, I want to play the I want to play the game and actually judge fairly, like like a normal person. All right, and then the last game is the PlayStation One game, and you probably may, might be surprised with what it is. Final Fantasy VIII. Okay, maybe this one is better than Final Fantasy XIII. I don't know because I haven't played thirteen that much, and I don't know. I just put it in the discs and just to see if they work. But yeah, Final Fantasy Thir uh, Final Fantasy VIII for fifteen dollars, and that's that's pretty good, I think. And yeah, you got the main characters right here, and I'm not sure like, any of my other fellow YouTubers like I don't know if Henry Gonzalez ha has this because I know he has two, he got Tomb Raider two. I don't know if he has Final Fantasy VIII to be completely honest, but hey, just talking about one of my YouTube fellows. And then spines and the back, and it says nothing. Thanks, Squaresoft. Thanks so much. But you got some pretty nice looking screenshots right there. Right, then inside here is disc one and here is the manual so taking out disc one you can see a very nice looking image on the back which I'm not sure what that actually is in game well in the game and then taking out the manual uh, which is actually a pretty thick manual I think how many pages doesn't say I think it's like 30 pages and then just disc disc two and then taking out disc two you can see the back of disc three that's certainly what you can see and put the manual back and then to it. and the other side here is the mini walkthrough by Brady games which I, I which looks like it came in here originally and then taking out disc three you can see the back side of disc two hey and then put the mini walkthrough back there's not that much stuff in, in it and then here's disc four and then taking out disc four you can see what I'm guessing is the main villain of the game I don't, I don't know since I haven't played the game yet yeah, seems weird that a PlayStation game with four discs. Cause when this game came out, uh, does it, a camera stop. Uh, 1999. Hey, that's a pretty good year in gaming. But disc disc four is coming out. Help, help! Disc four is falling out. Okay, I'm good. Never mind. All right, so that is it. So thank you all for watching the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And next video is probably going to be either my um, another South Park The Stick of Truth video or probably something else. Maybe Skylanders, Imaginators, or maybe I'll start a new Let's Play. I don't know. But anyways, shock the world and us, Amiibros. Goodbye.